this is Katie Gorsuch with Explore WIU. I'm here with Mike Fansler from um, the School of Music. He is the director of bands here, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about what he does here and um, opportunities for students that are in the School of Music. So, thank you. Typical student goes through junior high and high school playing an instrument or singing, and we fall in love with music. We have some great experiences. That was my life growing up in the East Coast, and I just loved being a part of music and decided when I went to college, I didn't want to give that up. And so that led me to study music and eventually make it my career, which I've done. And so I taught public school for a while in Tennessee and I did all, a lot of my schooling in the East Coast area and my doctorate here in Illinois. But um, yeah, pretty much every day I get to work with students in music, conduct bands, and I teach graduate students and undergraduate students the art of conducting and rehearsing bands. And I spend a lot of time visiting high schools and working with younger students and helping them develop the art of uh, music in bands. So yeah, my life is band and I love it. <laughs> awesome. So what brought you particularly to Western and what has um, any unique experiences you've, you've had with students here? Um, at Western since you've been here? It's interesting. I've been well-traveled throughout the United States and Illinois is a band state and there are <laughs> such great students here in Illinois and pretty much everywhere I go you're gonna find outstanding band people. Some of the other states I've been in there may be a good program but then you have to drive several hours to find another one. Illinois is known as one of the top maybe three or four in the nation as far as having outstanding bands. So I was so happy to get an opportunity to come to Western because I knew there'd be a ton of students here and of course that's what we, we look for is people that love band and love music so what better place to be than right here in Illinois. Great yeah I definitely agree band <laughs> is um, always a fun experience growing up and I know a lot of students keep that with them as they go off to college and um, look at potential careers. So um, with the band, sometimes they get to go on different trips and travel and perform. So can you talk a little bit about that and some of the trips you might have been on and taken students um, with? One of the things I tell students, when we practice at home in high school, we're in a room and or we're in a tiny practice room all by ourselves, spending countless hours trying to perfect scales or different passages. And it seems like our world is very small. We're in this tiny room and we're just working on these things that are frankly, a lot of times very boring. I remember saying out loud when, when we had the Western band, we were on a, a cruise in Brazil, right off the coast of Brazil. We took our wind ensemble down there. And I said in an interview down there, you know, this is where music has taken me and, and these students at Western. We start by working really hard on our instruments, but if you continue in music, you continue to learn, you'd be amazed where music can take you. And so we've been, as I mentioned, to Brazil and we've taken the jazz band down to New Orleans, to New York. The marching band has played for numerous NFL teams. They, uh, they have marched in some very significant parades. And so I think music takes you places. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what, one of the things, it's a byproduct of loving music. We don't necessarily um, go into music so we can travel. We love music and that just happens to take us places all over the world. I've been on five continents conducting music and I would have never thought growing up in the little tiny state of Delaware <laughs> that that's what my future would hold. Oh, that's incredible. So students get to really experience not just music here on campus and performing, but actually going into uh, the world and sharing it in different, in different countries and whatnot. So that's great. Um, for your particular classes that you teach, can you kind of give um, us a general overview of how your classes are and, you know, is it done in the recital hall, where, how your practices and stuff go? Well, I teach both ensembles and classroom. And I can say at Western Illinois, we are a mid-sized university and we have a, a lot. We have 42 full-time faculty here in the School of Music. And so our class sizes are small. And what that affords the student here is we know every student what their strengths and weaknesses are. So my classrooms aren't necessarily a cookie cutter where I just present, I stand up front and I, I really disregard where the students are on their musical journey. I just teach and I go home. 
what we do is we look at where everyone's strengths and weaknesses are and we try to raise the level um, certain areas so my classrooms are catered to the individual so each semester each class is unique because the students are unique and so I enjoy getting to know people and teaching my classes to help them be as successful as possible because they're gonna go out and they're gonna um, they're gonna teach the next generation and I want to arm them with as much positivity and confidence as I can so so generally uh, whether it be a a class learning about literature, repertoire, all the music out there and the composers, or it could be conducting or rehearsing, um, how to write drill for the marching band, how to, how to budget for a program. We do all of that right here in-house. So when you graduate, you're ready to go. And of course, in the ensembles, especially in the ones that I teach, I know for a fact that I can hear every player in the room and every person contributes. So sometimes we get lost in our bigger programs and your part really doesn't matter because if you don't play, someone else has you covered. Mm -hmm. Not here. Everybody contributes and that's the way we like it. And we still have a very high standard for everyone and these students meet that standard. So that's where the incredible performances come from. That's awesome. I know our bands are highly recognized and the ensembles are um, great performers as well. So always a good time to go watch them if you're here on campus. Um, so with, um, besides the ensemble, so what other um, music related things are you um, associated with like the different organizations or uh, for students in the School of Music or, um, you know, for you, do you have any other outside um, bands or ensembles that you perform in? I work really well in the Macomb community. I love our little town and everything that's here. So I've been conducting the Macomb Municipal Band for many years. That band started, the earliest record we have of the band starting is 1852. And we and we haven't found anything to suggest that band has ever stopped. Wow. And so I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that group and a lot of our professors and community members play there. And our mayor here supports it. It's just a wonderful community event. And some other ensembles, uh, you know, we have uh, Matt Thomas, who works with the Marching Leathernecks and the basketball band. They're off traveling later this week to go to the Dakotas for a tournament. And we have some wonderful opportunities in jazz and orchestra and choir. And those are the things that I do mainly here. Now, outside of that, I also am one of the faculty advisors for a fraternity, a music fraternity here for men. And we have them here for women too, but I'm not an advisor of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I, I work really closely with the director of the school of music on many committees. Uh, the music education committee is one, the recruitment committee, graduation committee, because you know we we perform for the entire university on mm -hmm. graduations. We provide a lot of services for many of the different uh, facets here on campus. So all that entails a lot of committee work. So mm -hmm. I'm often meeting with people from other departments talking about how to collaborate and how to, to uh, best utilize the resources we have here in the School of Music campus-wide and as well as the community, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. Great. So do you have any um, advice or <laughs> words for um, prospective students or students interested, um, already interested in the School of Music here at Western? My advice for students that are in high school that are contemplating what they're gonna do with their lives, very simply, music is, is a time and place where you can escape a lot of the stress in your world. Um, we love making music here. And the one thing I tell people is, do not think you need to be a music major to contribute and be a part of a school of music. And particularly here at Western Illinois, we have ensembles where you don't even have to audition because I know that's nerve wracking for many. You can just say, hey, I play saxophone, I play trumpet, and we have a band for you to, to play in. And some of those bands can be intensive, like the marching band where you know, we're out practicing two, three, four days a week with, and performing at football games. And it can be a more relaxed ensemble like our university band, which is just meets for an hour and a half on Wednesday nights. So if you have a really busy schedule, a lot of labs, you're a chemistry major and you still want to play that instrument, there's a place for you. Further, even as a non-music major, if you're maybe law enforcement or nursing or engineering, you can still receive a scholarship in music. And all you have to do is maintain a B average and perform in two of our ensembles. So you've learned how to play an instrument, why not get paid to play it while you're in college and still enjoy that, that art of making music? 
So I would say no matter where you go, make sure you, you contact the school of music or the music department and ask, how can I be a part? Even though I'm very busy, find, find me a place where I can still perform music. All right, well, great advice. Thank you, Mike, and thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you.